let's talk about rhythmical figures. In music, each note has its own value. And the main types of rhythmical figures, first is the whole note. When you have a note that is just a circle, it means that it has to last four beats. For example, I have right here four notes, a C, D, C, D. If I play, I must really play the C note and hold it four beats. For example, if my speed is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then I'll stop playing. If I have all these four notes, I'm going to play them holding four beats. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four. Now, the next rhythmical figure is the half note. If I have these half notes, I must hold the note to beats. For example, I'm going to play these no this notes that are there, C, D, C, D, again, but I'm going to hold them only two beats, each one. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and I have whole notes, half notes, I'm sorry. Now, I have quarter notes. Each quarter note must last one beat. So I'm going to play the example there. I have C, D, C, D, E, D, E, C. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four. One, one, one. Of course, you can play at different speed, but always you count in the beginning to understand the speed that you are going to use when you play. And each rhythmical figure has its own rest. So if you find, for example, you have in this image the quarter note, and next to the quarter note you have this symbol with that it's a quarter note rest. It means that in one beat I'm not going to play anything. The next rhythmical figure is eight note. It means that I must play two eight notes in one beat. So each note lasts half beat. So I'm going to play what it's written. It says C, C, D, D, E, E, C, C. So if I have the speed like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that's eight note. The last one that we're going to learn is the 16th note. It means that I have to play four 16th notes in one beat. So I'm going to play what it's written and it says C, 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 D, 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 E, 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 and C, 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 C. This is the speed, one, two, three, four. Exactly. And those are 16 notes. Something important, it's the dotted notes. A dot, this is a small dot that you write close to the note. It's not under, not nor above. It has to be in one of the sides, not down or in upper the note. So the dot adds half of the note value. So if I add a dot to a whole note, this is going to be a dotted whole note. And the whole note lasts four beats. So if I add a dot, it's going to last six beats. So you can see the chart here and 
you can add also dots to the rest. So this is, you can find this is kind of common. So this is important to know and important to understand and memorize. You can see this is a small fragment of a song and you have at the beginning, you have a dotted half note. So it has to last three beats. Then in the second measure, you have a dotted quarter note. So it will last one beat and a half. And in the third note, you have a dotted eight note. So it is three fourths speed. So it's important to understand, really memorize this. To, so you will be able to play counting and keeping the rhythm correctly.